All right, NT8 on the porch with more high-tech gear to baffle and amaze your asses. It's about 80 degrees out here, and we've got a box opening. And at the same time, I'm going to do a review of the Knox Android uh, gloves. Da -da -da -da. The PVC knife comes up. He's already by you, you missed him. I rocked it. So what we got here is a brand new set of Androids. Um, I buy so much from Motorcycle Superstore that uh, I called them up. The last uh, catalog they sent me, they only wanted to give me five dollars off, so I called them up and I said, "Cough up the ten percent, or I'll buy them elsewhere." So they did, and free shipping. All right, these gloves are about two hundred and fifty bucks. They're killer gloves. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I, I absolutely love them. But I've also got uh, a few complaints, but we'll get to that. Let me get these apart and then we'll go into it a little bit. I'm just so impressed with the gear that... Uh, is out there now. We didn't have this stuff when I was growing up. We didn't have gear this good. It was mostly leather friggin' gloves. Long pants. And Brown got here with a minute to spare. So I ordered a set of size 9's this time, which equates to a medium. The first set I ordered were size 10. And over time they got a little bit big. But anyway, let me tell you about the Knox Android gloves. Not that I'm trying to sell it, but it's got uh, finger articulation, it's got uh, thumb articulation, it's got sliders on the palm, sliders on the wrist. It's got the bolo mounting uh, tightening system. You just crank this down like this. And then it's tight. It's got a Velcro strap here so you can tighten it around your wrist. Okay. Kangaroo leather. I love these gloves. I, I have a hard time coming up with anything to bitch about. And then to get them off, you just pull up on the tab, pull up on that, and the glove comes right off. These are a little bit tighter than what I'm used to with my larges. Okay. First thing I'm going to warn you about got these two years ago. Most of you will think two years is a good lifespan for a pair of gloves. These are only summer gloves, guys. So you're talking five months. You're not even talking six months because they breathe so well, your hands will get cold if you wear them sub 52 degrees. 
probably sub 60 if you don't have hand guards. Now actually these are uh, sport bike gloves, which is all cool. But with the KLR, it's kind of it. It is a dual sport, so it kind of acts that way. You can treat it that way. But here's what happened: two summers of riding, and the ripping out on the sides. That's that one. This is this one. Got a rip here and a rip here on the same finger. The thing I find most intriguing about these gloves is if you go down with this slider technology. You go off the bike, I've been there. The initial response is to throw your hands out and keep you, you know, try to keep yourself from falling, but you're already falling. But with these sliders, you're going to skid down the pavement. Without the sliders, your hand's going to roll. It'll probably break your fucking wrist. Plus with this kangaroo skin leather, oh my god, these things are soft right out the box. There's, I'm telling you right now, there's no break in. You put them on, you ride. No issues. They're not cheap. Like I said, I ordered large last two years ago. This time I decided to drop down one size. I went from a 10 to a 9. And yeah, they're a little stiff, but they it won't last very long. Yeah, the same thing works on the back of the hands. If you go down, you're going to slide. These exoskeletons are not designed to keep your hand from bending back, because it's going to do that. But in the event that you land on your hand and you got this down, it's going to slide. It's not going to. It's not going to grip and roll and snap your wrist. I, I've really, I've watched a lot of these videos. I saw a guy on a track doing 80 miles an hour, and he went down, bike went off into the dirt, he got up, went over and picked the bike up, and rode on. But he skidded across the pavement. And that's on YouTube. Um, I don't know guys, it's just, it's just me. I'll, I'll pay for the gear. I don't mind paying for the gear at all. But yeah, it has to be comfortable. And these are extremely comfortable. See, here they go again, 5%. So the next thing when I order, I'm gonna call them up and say, I buy from you guys a lot, and then they'll bring up my account, and they'll go, yeah, you do. And I'll say, I want 10% off. Maybe next time I'll say 15, because I just dropped another 500 bucks. In. And uh, I'm waiting on uh, a new pair of boots, too. So, bro. All right. That's pretty much it. Just wanted to throw these out at you. On my trip last year, I let a couple people try them on. 
actually anybody that wanted to, I let them try them on. And, uh, they're good gloves. And the next thing I'm going to do with these old ones is I'm going to take them down to the shoe guy and see if he can patch them somehow. But it's not just that, it's the fingertips are starting to wear at the exoskeleton. So, two summers. My hands are fully functional. I'm good. All right, NT8 on the porch. Back at you later.